Hello and welcome to this lesson. Um, in the previous one, we looked at some of the features that Quicks Pro has to offer on the dashboard. So this video is all about working with templates and I'm going to show you how to create a beautifully pre-made website from scratch using templates in just five minutes. I'm going to show you how to do that, okay? Um, like I mentioned previously, templates are just a pre-designed page blogs that has already been created. All right, so here's it. All you just have to do is to pick or choose to create or edit the layout you want. Um, so from the Quicks dashboard, that's the Quicks Pro dashboard of your account. Um, the first thing you want to do is to click on this menu command called New, okay, to start creating the website layout of your choice. And um, when you click on that, uh, you will have a page like this uh, with two options for creating your website layout. So now we are going to select the add templates option to start. Okay. Um, the most fantastic thing about creating a website layout with Quicks is that when you purchase the pro version, okay, not the free version, I mean the pro version, when you purchase it, okay, it comes with all these beautifully templates and that beautifully designed templates you are seeing right here. Okay. You are seeing on the screen. So and all you just need to do is to choose from any of these words, definitely design layouts under the section command that you fancy. So why is it so important? Why is it important? You see, as a beginner who doesn't know how every part of your website should look, or uh, maybe you need some type of inspiration, this right here is the best way to go. So um Right here, we have the sections menu, uh, we have the pages menu, and we also have uh, my templates menu, okay? And when you click um, on this drop-down arrow, you have a category list of what templates you can insert and get inspired from, okay? To create and get inspired from to create any component of your website pages. So each of these components are structured into what? Sections, as you can see on the screen, okay? Um, with different purposes. All right, um, so right now, let's go with this one. This one we have here, okay? And like I said previously, um, if you don't have the pro version, you won't be able to get access to these available template features. So without further ado, um, just hover your mouse um, on this one and click Insert. Okay, so that's it. We have added one section. So let's go ahead and add um, another one by clicking the template option below. Okay. So this time around, um, I'm going to choose another section by considering the type of layout I want, okay? So let me just scroll down a little bit here. So um, let's go ahead and choose this one. Let me choose this one, okay? So choose the type of section that defines what you want, okay? So I like this one, click on inside to add it. Good. So uh, we click on the template again, okay? And uh, we scroll down a little bit and choose what else we want, okay? Uh, so by doing this, um, you can actually see that I already have a full web page design in just a few minutes. So if you are new to uh, this industry, web, website design industry, and you don't know where to start off or where to begin, uh, sections are easy way to start off, okay? So let me just go ahead and add uh, one other section here. So this time around, let me choose this. I think this one can go, I like it. So just click it to insert. So now that you have understood the concepts, okay, just watch me and let's keep building. So I will simply scroll down again, then click on add template. So let's scroll down a little bit to choose another uh, beautifully uh, made design somewhere here so um, let me okay let me choose something like this um 
let's scroll down scroll up a little bit and um, don't forget my goal is to show you how easy it is to create any type of web page um, using this um, section okay so okay let's go ahead and choose uh, this one the footer so as you can see on the screen right now we have designed a full landing page of a website just by dragging and dropping and we did all of these by using um, sections okay as you can see on the screen so once again if you are not a designer and you are freaking out because you don't know what looks good all you need to do is to drag and drop any section you think um, is cool to accomplish what what you want and by doing this uh, you will end up creating a high quality looking professional website for your business just like this one you're seeing right here on my screen so no hassle bro you can add and modify whatever you want to fit your website business goals okay so let me just go ahead and remove this so i'll simply click on the options then go to delete okay so let's scroll up a little bit further uh, i think i have something like okay let's just go ahead and delete it it's as simple as that so let's do the final one final section um, Okay, here is it so let me simply remove it so you can disable if you like you can copy you can add you can do so many things in fact there are lots of things that you can do here okay so that is just by the way okay so now let's take a look at the responsiveness of this landing page on different devices like you know desktop tablets and mobile devices okay so to do this, I want you to locate these three options we have on the menu bar here. Um, the first one is the desktop, um, the second one is the tablet, while the last one is the what? The mobile device. device. So um, by clicking on each of these words, um, button here, this command, okay, we're going to see how um, this landing page will look on each of these words, screen devices, okay? So let's go ahead and choose this mobile. So by clicking it, let's see how the land our landing page will look on what on mobile device screen size so as you can see now if you scroll down a little bit um let's scroll down so that you can see it very well good can you see so which means any website you create here is what is responsive okay so you don't need to bother or to start creating uh, different versions of what uh, for each of the what uh, devices so you can just simply do what create it here then select each of these what um, commands here to know okay how the the, the website will look on each of these what devices okay so now let's go ahead and click this the second one which is a tablet and let's uh, see how the website the landing page will look on what on tablets so now by scrolling down a little bit, uh, let's scroll down to see. Voila, as you can see, looks cool, right? Good. So that is just by the way, okay? So this is what we have created, what a responsive type of what website, okay? Um, so let's go back to the desktop um, view, okay? So we now have this. So that is just by the way. So once you are done creating your page, um, you have two options to save your page, okay? Um, you can save it as a normal page by specifying the page title, okay, right here, okay, the name and clicking on the word, on the save word button to save your word page, okay? So let's go ahead and do and do that. I can just simply call it what? Um, home, home page, okay? Then click what? save to save it as what as normal what page or you can simply do what you can simply save it as what as a normal what template yes um, the reason for this is in case you want to use it for another site or project um, you can easily import this from my template library okay um, take for instance i can simply move my mouse cursor here on this drop down arrow then select save as templates so from the save as template dialog box that will appear um, i can simply go ahead and click what um, specify the word the title of the words our uh, page okay so let me call it home and click what save 
so that is just by the way um it is not a rocket science okay so now let's check uh, my library my templates library to see if we have uh, this landing page saved here okay so let me just click on this add templates and let's quickly go to my templates good as you can see it's here right we now have it as what well, saved as template so uh, in case you want to create another project you can just go ahead and do it and insert it and start modifying whatever you want there so that is just by the way now if you want to you can also go back to pages like the, the pages we have here uh, this particular one okay so here uh, there are various template pages uh, you'll be uh, you'll be able to choose from these words pages words menu options okay so if you scroll down a little bit let's scroll down um, so how this works is that um, these are already pre-designed tools that you can use okay so let me continue scrolling down a little bit uh, right here um, so and let's choose one let me go ahead and choose one let me go ahead and choose one of these pages okay so let me click on what insert voila just like that um, we have created another page uh, we now have a beautiful layout that we can actually customize and tweak okay uh, to meet our needs so by using sections in template pa template template pages um, you can actually design anything there is no limit to what you can design okay you don't need to worry about coding okay all you need is to go to the template uh, scroll through to choose a template that is closer to what you are looking for then go ahead inside the template so you can customize it to meet your needs so this is beautiful okay just give it a try and see it for yourself how good you are okay so that's just by the way um see you in the next video bye bye